Good morning, fourth grade students of room 502. Hope you had a great Monday with Ms. Chandler. Um, today, our objective is uh, use multiplication, addition, or subtraction to solve multi step word problems. Our uh, keyword there is multi step, more than one. Uh, so, our concept development today is the problem set. So please take out page 43 of your problem set. And we're going to read this. Um, we're going to solve using the read, draw, write process. Very important. And let's start with number one. Over the summer, Kate earned $180 for seven weeks. I think we did this one on Friday, didn't we? or Monday, didn't we? Maybe not. Of that money, she spent $375 on a new computer and $137 on new clothes. Yes, we did do this. How much money did she have left? Well, we could do a quick review. So seven weeks, $375 on a new computer, $137 on new clothes. First, let's figure out how much she earned. So you have seven weeks, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And in that first week, or each week, she were earned 180. All right. So let's figure out how much she earned this 180 times seven, $180 times seven. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my dollar sign right there just to get that out of the way. So zero times seven is zero. 8 times 7 is 56, uh, bring up the 5, 1 times 7 is 7 plus the 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, and there is our answer. So she earned $1,260. Now she spent some money, so there's another step. We got to add up the computer and the new clothes. 375 plus 137. I forgot to do this bracket. And that equals now, that equals. We know what it equals, 1,260. So let's do a little addition. 5 plus 7, we already know that's to be 12. 7 plus 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, and one more is 11. Bring over the 1, and then we have 3, 4, and 5, or 3, 4, and 5. So she spent $512 of that money, but now we need to subtract because we've seen how much money did she have left. So we take 1,260 and subtract 512. Okay, so six, so we, need, we can't take two ones away from zero ones. So this will become a five and this will become a 10. 10 minus two is eight. Five minus one, five take away one is four. And we're over here again. I can't take 500s away from 200s. Take a, from this thousand and this becomes a 12. 12 minus 5, hmm, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, it is 7. So Katie has $748 left. There we go. Let's go to our next problem. Sylvia weighed 8 pounds when she was born. Okay. By her first birthday, her weight had tripled, times three. By her second birthday, she had gained 12 more pounds. At that time, Sylvia's father weighed five times as much as she did. What was Sylvia and her dad's combined weight? A lot going on here. So let's start with Sylvia first. She weighs eight pounds when she was born. Pounds is abbreviated LBS. I'll tell you why someday. So by her first birthday, her weight had tripled. So one, two, and three. So what's her weight on the first birthday? Well, what's eight times three? Eight times three is eight, 16, 24. So she weighs 24 pounds on her first birthday. By her second birthday, she had gained 12 more pounds. So we need to add 12 onto this. So 
So we have 24 times 12, or plus 12. 4 plus 2 is 6, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So Sylvia weighs 36 pounds. At that time, Sylvia's father weighed five times as much as she did. So let's do the father, and it's five times as much. So we're going to do a tape diagram featuring five sections. One, two, three, four, and five. Well, we know Sylvia weighed 36 pounds by her second birthday, so each one of these is 36. All right, so we're starting to see where this is going. Let's do 36 times 5 to see how much Dad weighs. 6 times 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, stop. And 3 times 5, 5, 10, 15, 150, plus this 3 would be 180, 18. And so we know now know that Dad weighs 180 pounds. So let's write this in a sentence. Oh, and no, there's even more. What was Sylvia and her dad's combined weight? So now, look, another problem we have to do this way. Eureka math, you've got to really read it. 180 plus 36. 0 plus 6 is 6. 8 plus 3 is 11. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So, and we have pounds. Sylvia and her dad weigh... 200, 212 pounds all together, period. Let's flip this paper over, and uh, we have number three. Three boxes weighing 120 pounds each, and one box weighing 254 pounds were loaded onto the back of an empty truck. So we have 180, 128 pounds, and three. And we have one box that weighs 254 pounds. A crate of apples was then loaded onto the same truck. If the total weight of loaded on the truck was 2,000 pounds, how much did the crate of apples weigh? Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this as, first of all, we'll go 128 three times, right? One, two, and three. So here's 128. 128, 128. Then we have one box that weighs 254. And there's 254. What we don't know is the weight of the apples. But what we do know all of this together weighs 2,000 pounds. So, three boxes, 128, 128, 128. One box, 254. Then we have the apples, and all three of these together weigh 2,000 pounds. So how do we even come close to figuring this out? I'm going to tell you how we come not even close, but exactly. First thing we need to do is figure out the weight of this, okay? So let's do 128 times 3. And you're welcome to do that on your own, if you like. So 8 times 3, remember we just did this, 8, 16, 24, bring up the 2, 3 times 2 tens, 20 times 3, 2 times 3 is 6, plus those 2, 7, 8, or 80 in this case, and then 1 times 3 is 3. So these three boxes weigh 384 pounds, but now we have to add on the 254. Talk about your multi-step problems. So we say 254 plus 3. 84. Are we ready to add? 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 5, or 5 plus 8. Let's do 8 plus 5. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Bring over that 1, and we have 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So we have 638 pounds right here. But this whole thing weighs 2,000 pounds. That means we need to take the 2,000 and subtract that number from it so that we get the weight of the apples. <coughs> so we'll take our 2,000 total. Subtract 638. Look at all those zeros. That always presents a challenge. Let's start regrouping. All right, so I'm going to take away 1,000. Bring it over here to make this 1,000, but I need to keep going, right? 
because it's all zeros. So I'm going to make this a 900. This will become 100, 10 tenths. Then it becomes 90. And the very last one will just remain a 10. There's nowhere else to go. Now we're ready to, sub to subtract. 10 minus 8, 8, 9, 10 is 2. 9 minus 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That would be 6. 9 minus 6, 7, 8, 9 is 9. Oops, excuse me, not 9. 9 minus 6, 7, 8, 9 is 3. Arr. And then we just bring the 1 down, it's 1,362. Remember, we're doing read, draw, and write, so let's write down the crate of apples weighs 1,362 pounds, period. All right, we're going to continue on with our next one. These are some really complicated problems. We've really got to read, as you can see. All right, let's go to Charlie. <coughs> Excuse me. In one month, Charlie read 814 pages. In the same month, his mom read four times as many pages as Charlie, and that was 143 pages more than Charlie's dad read. What was the total number of pages read by Charlie and his parents? Oh, boy, this is a lot going on. So let's do Charlie first. Charlie. He read how much? 814 pages. Now mom, she read four times as much. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and dad, he read, uh, she read 143 more pages more than Charlie's dad. So dad's will look like this. Dad's the one we really don't know. Any clue right now? So it's short of mom by 143 pages. All right. What we're trying to find out is the total pages. Okay, so what do we need to do first? Well, we know what Charlie read, 814 pages. He is done. What we don't know is what mom read. So let's see what mom read. One, two, three, four. So 814 times four. That's what we got to figure out to figure out mom. Mom read four times as much as Charlie. One, two, three, four. So let's go ahead and start on this. Four times four. Four times four once is 16. There's our 16. Our one ten and our six. One times 40. Our four tens times one is 40. Plus that one is 50. So one times four is four plus one is five. No need to bring anything over. It's not greater than 10. And eight times four is 32. So there we have it, 3,256. That's what mom read. So we have Charlie, mom, but dad read 143 pages less than mom. So now we have to do some subtraction. So I'll take 32,000, or no, 3,200, 3,256 minus 143. This will give us dad's total, all right? So I'm going to put a mom right here just to remind us. And this will be dad. I'll put a D right there. Looks like a P. Maybe it's pa. 6 minus 3 is 3. 5 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. And bring down the 3. And that's what dad read. But are we done yet? No, because the problem says, what was the total of number of pages read by Charlie <coughs> Excuse me, and his parents? So we got to add it all up. I'm going to go with the biggest number first, the largest number, 3,256. Then the dad. 3,113, and then Charlie, 814. And add these all up. 6 plus 3 is 9, plus another 4. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There is the 1. 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 plus 2 is 10, plus that 1 makes it 11. And then 3 plus 3 is 6, plus the 1 is 7. So, they read 7,183 pages that month. And there we have it. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to put this in your binder to help you with tonight's homework. And then please, uh, after you do that, log off your uh, Gmail account 
and you may log on to Zern Math and Tell Music. Thank you very much.